This is lesson number 31 in the Paint with Len series of short lessons. And today we'll paint a scene with water and some pretty trees. I'll start in the usual way with my big flat house painting brush. Pick up plenty of white and put the white where we need the sky. I'm using acrylic paint and this particular brand, it's a Rioni acrylic paint and it's coming off the brush very well. I'm quite happy with it. That's acrylic white. You can use oils or acrylic. You do exactly what I'm doing now. And then some ultramarine blue. Now we'll start in the corner, crisscross, crisscross, because as you move over here, your brush runs out of paint. Clean the brush and crisscross, crisscross into the center again. There's possibly too much white on there, but it's been drying very quickly. So I put a lot on so it didn't dry so quick. It's a pale sky. Well, let's go for a bit of a, a darker sky. Brush a little bit more blue and that's all we need to do. That's ultramarine blue. And then with a the littlest bit of crimson, very little bit of crimson, I'll put it down there because I don't want to spoil my sky. Rub it onto the brush and then we'll just put a very little bit in the sky there to give us a glow. And then the littlest bit of raw sienna. And again, I'll put it here and bring it up into the sky. Now when I put some white over that you'll just see them glowing. Up that way is better and that way is better to keep your sky sort of a little bit like that, not much. You can just see those tones. Now down the bottom we need plenty of water. So we'll put plenty of undercoat on there. I'll clean my brush while I'm doing this. The undercoat on, get rid of that hair and a bit more white and I'll put some blue, and this time I'll try and get that blue nice and dark. I'll start down in that corner and bring the blue up. But making sure I do keep that white there. We do want white in the background. Now for the mountains, I'll change to a flat hog bristle brush. That's a soft, flat hog bristle brush. And I'll paint some mountains in. Ooh, we'll have a prominent mountain here somewhere. Something like that. You make it up as you go along. Don't, don't let your mountain go like that on the edge of the picture. You see, it drags your eye off there. Take it up here, whatever, whatever mountain you've got, just try and finish it about like that, moving up at the edge. We'll make it a pretty blue colour, so I'll put a bit more blue in there. And nothing too fancy. If you've got a favourite mountain, you can put it in. There. That'll do. That's a mountain background. That mountain's going to come down in the water as a reflection. So I'll make a little bit of mountain showing there, not much, just a bit. And then with a clean, soft, big brush, you put it down the end of the water so you do have a reflection. And that's enough, not too fancy. Now my palette, I need to mix some colours. There's not much blue there, so I might as well use a lot. And put some crimson in there. You see how dark it goes straight away? And then if I wanted to go into a grey, that's a purple, now I change it to a grey, we'll put in the raw sienna in there. And even that little bit of crimson I put in there has changed it too much. I need to add some more blue and mix it in there. So that's a bit more bluey than it was. It was too red. Then with my flat brush again, we'll, we'll get a bit of shape happening in the background. Let's come through about there. That's definitely got to be background trees of some sort. Something there. Oh, here's a good trick. If, if you're not sure what you're making up, let's do both at once. Let's do down into the water so each brush stroke is, there's our bank there. So not only are we painting the background for the tree, we're painting the background for the reflection also. There. Little one, and a few big ones on the edge, because I always like to come like that on the edge. I better make it even bigger, because there's no paint there. And a bit more paint. There, little tiny ones here. Let's go right back there. Right, right back there. It looks like it's sloping up. It is. That's all right. So we're going to have a river coming that way. The other thing I'll use a, a round hog bristle brush. That's a funny looking old brush, but it's got a good shape point on it. So let's use that. And I know that green is going to be used in the painting later, so we might as well introduce it early. It's a good idea to introduce your colours as early as you can. So you have all the colours flowing through your painting. Now that's a little tiny brush and let's start here. Tap, tap. Ooh, that's nice and bright, isn't it? That's very bright. Well, this is going to be a bright painting. That's okay. 
and down into the water, I better go down now, into the water. Now let's change our colours now. Let's go, ooh, I shouldn't use warm red in the distance, so I better go for a crimson in the distance. A bit of white there. We'll see what we've got now. We've got a little bit orange there. Now I think that was a bit too much of a sudden change, so let's put a couple here and there. There. Mm -hmm. And into the water. And into the water again. And carry on here. We we'll come up above that one. It's got a little bit of dark on the brush anyway. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to get them on quickly because I don't want them to dry before I change them into I change them into reflections. And there's a nice big one there. I turned the brush, you see, and more colour came off. Now with a big flat house painting brush, and then clean it. Again. There. I'll clean it. I won't get them good. So let's just have a little soft run across like that. Cleaned it again. I think I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow with green and change that a bit. Something in there, just in case we don't want to have to go back there later and fix it. And there's some white paint missing there. Put it on like that. Now, clean my brush. Pull that down. Yes, we got away with it. Clean the brush. And we'll try and get a bit of a soft movement that way. There's one more colour I want to introduce. It's Indian yellow. Let's put a little bit of that there. It's not Indian yellow. It's Australian Sienna by Matisse. Now let's pick a bit of that up and a bit of this up. And you watch how brilliant it goes. Look at those pretty colours. And put a little bit of this in. Not red yet. We're still in the background. Put that in there. Let's see what happens if we put a bit of this in. Mmm. That's pretty. Okay. That should give me a good bank. Now I'll hold my hand steady and place the bank on. There. Not too bad. And I can unload the rest of this here, I'd say. I have to force the whole knife on now. There we are. Then let's pick up some dark on the very edge of the knife. Like that. Ooh, there's a bit, of, a bit too much there. That's it. And then we can put the dark just under there. Move along, clean the knife, pick up another lot of dark, and I'll touch it on there first. It looks like the river goes around there. Well, it was too late now, I put too much dark there. I could have made it go in the corner. Now with a fan brush, just touch it on the bits that don't look so good because I like that lovely bright colour there. You know, the edge here. Then with a clean painting knife, you have to be very careful here, get some white. Now we'll, we'll do it properly. We'll just spread it out a little bit, then clean the knife, and then just put the knife on it like that. And that'll give you a really fine edge on the edge of the knife. And when I bring it up here, it must be horizontal. Even if your bank's going like that, this line must be horizontal. Touch it there. Ooh, I moved it too much. We'll try it again. Let's try it. Like that. Now, mine's going uphill a fraction. Not what I want. So I need to put a horizontal line under it to keep our eye thinking that this is flat water. If it goes uphill, it stops looking like water. And here in the background, let's put a piece there, there, there. And I'll try and straighten that up by having very straight water in this area here. Okay. Now with a little fine hairbrush, that's quite a soft brush, cost me about 50 cents, so don't go rushing out buying sable haired brushes or something. With that later with the two colours, we'll paint light and dark, ooh, we'll be shaky today. Very fine little branches there, not much, just a little bit, and don't overdo it, don't put too many in there. They go in the dark part of the trees, and if you hold your brush with two fingers, you won't have the problem of forcing the brush on too hard because it's hanging there like a pendulum. This works really well with oil paint.
Ooh, a dark one. As I turn the brush around, we get dark or light ones. And on this side, always try to keep your very edge one facing into the picture. So if someone's eye catches it, it doesn't go off the picture. There. And a few little bits and pieces here. I'm not going to go too much trouble. You could put these on with a little, little tiny painting knife if you wanted to. And I think I need at least one white one down here. I pick up a bit of dark and a bit of light. Now, you see that bit of reflection there? There doesn't seem to be anything on the bank, so let's put something on the bank. And someone will say, gee, you did that well. Okay, that's a bit much, that one. And here, where's another one? There's a little one there. We can put a tree up there like that. Well, that's a pretty background. That's what I wanted. You know, I've got a rather new hog bristle brush. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, plenty of darks on one side. Plenty of lights on the other side. Let's put a bit of that green in there. And whatever we do, if we don't like it, we can change it. Because I'd like to have a lot of pretty colours on this painting. Look at that. Dark is on Dark is on the other side now. I just do that to make sure there's no light on that side. Only dark. Dark and light. Why not? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's pretty. That yeah, ultramarine blue sure comes out pretty when you make a grey out of it. Okay, my brush has run out of paint. I need to reload it. This time my green seems a lot greener. Yes, that's okay. My darks are running out too quick, yeah. But at least they are dark, as long as they don't go light like that. That's when you need to reload your brush when they start going like that. And to reload your brush, grab a bit of paper and pull it to a chisel point. Don't wash it in water. Pick up your darks again. Mm. A bit of that will go, oh, this will make it real dark. A bit of burnt here and there, it'll go very dark. And then come through here, pick up a few pretty colors and we'll do that bit again. I do want that dark there. There. It's got a few darks back in there. Mm -hmm. Just can clean the brush down here this time. There. Now I think I can do a bit of red now. We've come forward quite a bit. Let's have a red tree. We don't often have them. Bit of that, bit of that. Hmm. We'll have some, some red here. That's wet on wet. I'm getting away with it as long as I don't lose my darks. As soon as I start losing my darks, I lose the contrast. Clean the brush. Reload it with some darks. That'll make a dark, won't it? Mm. Okay, and then let's go for the red again. And the red. And I'll try again for some darks. That's better. I don't want to have too much, I just, I, I do want to have some reds in there though. There. That'll look nice. You better come and have a closer look. And some blues. Okay. Bit of blue, there's some blue there. More blue. There. much. Now, that's starting to look like a bit of a permanent wave. It's, it's looking too artificial. So it will have to sort of muck it up a little bit in a moment. I'll take a big fan brush and take a great heap of darks and put on the masking tape there and some yellows. Put the yellow slightly above it. Bring them down into there and clean my brush. Get it ready for the dirt. Up through the darks into the lights. Yeah. There. Now, that'll look quite effective when we take the basking tape off. Now don't overdo it. Don't keep going. And up here we'll have something that looks a bit more like grass. Okay. That needs some lights on it. Now to make our trees look like trees, I need to get some of these colours 
Mm, the draw will see, it doesn't matter what colour it is, as long as it's light and dark, that red might be nice in there. And load the brush, light and dark, and we'll paint in branches. Foliage is rather higgly piggly, so a few branches might help it look more like a tree. Load the brush again. I'll put some red on there this time. See how that goes. Mm, that stands out well. Now we need a bit of a feature in the painting, so pick up some a lot of dark and a little light. That's if yours needs a feature. You can leave this out if you want to. I'm going to run some dead trees here. Like that. I'm doing fine lines because the paint's running well and I'm holding my two fingers. Make sure you have some branches crossing. And I'll keep going. You, you might want to finish now. Ooh, let's have one hanging into the water because not much there. So we'll have one comes up, up and down. And he looks like he's a reflection rather than a tree, so we have to darken him. And I'll turn the brush because then I know there's going to be dark paint come off. Yeah, and the dark didn't want to come off, so maybe a bit of white will come off there. I've loaded again the two colours, dark and light. Doesn't matter what colour it is, as long as it's dark and light. Let's see what happens, I'll put a bit of bright red there. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. A bit on the ground. Let's do a couple of birdies. Yeah, that's the masking tape there. Now, birds. Dot. Dash. Dot. Dash. Beak. Beak. Don't ask me what sort of birds they are. They're dicky birds. They look okay. I could put a longer tail on them, but I won't. I'd rather put a bit of a, bit of a fat belly on them there. And this one's head's too small. Okay. I won't fiddle with them. I think just to finish it off, because it looks rather fine, there's just a few little more very fine tweaks here. Not much, just a few. So you can see a little bit more detail there. That's it. And maybe a few branches there. Mm, not too much, just a bit. There. I think that's finished. We'll take the masking tape off and see how it looks. Well, that's pretty, but I don't like the way that tree and that tree cut. And just change the shape of this tree a little bit. I think that's better. And a little bit of branch under our birdies, because you can't quite see that. There. That's a bit better. It's a simple little painting for you. Take your time, enjoy. Thank you. I'll see you on my website, paintwithlem.com.